A laser beam is incident at an angle of 28.6 degrees to the vertical onto a solution of corn syrup and water. If the beam is refracted to 19.12 degrees to the vertical, what is the index of refraction of the corn syrup? So here's what we're going to say. We're going to say we have some corn syrup, and here's the normal to that corn syrup, or we'll say the vertical angle. And it's saying that the angle, the, there is a laser that's firing at 28.6 degrees to the vertical, and then it ends up at 19.12 degrees, so a little bit less than that. If we call this air, N1 is air, and we call N2 is corn syrup, and then this is theta 1, and this is theta 2, then we can use Snell's law to solve for what N2 is equal to. So N1 sine theta 1 is equal to N2 sine theta 2. And so it's simply a matter of dividing by the sine of theta 2. So N1 sine theta 1 over the sine of theta 2 is equal to N2. So you just plug in your numbers and you've got the index of refraction for this corn syrup water mixture. And the numbers that we're given is, uh, for, so for N1 we're going to assume is air. And air has a, a index of refraction of 1.000293. And the, you're going to multiply that by the sine of 28.6 degrees. And then the angle theta 2, you're going to multiply that by the sine of 19 19.12 degrees. And I get that the corn syrup water mixture has an index of refraction of 1.461869746. And then part two it says suppose that this light in a vacuum is a red light and it has a wavelength of 632.8 nanometers. So that's its wavelength, lambda. So now what is its new wavelength whenever it goes through the corn syrup and water mixture? So lambda 1, lambda 2. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the definition. So we're going to start off with the proportionality constant. So the initial velocity, we'll say, so the velocity 1 divided by the velocity 2 is equal to n2 over n1. You remember whenever we first defined what the index of refraction is, we said it's the index of refraction n is equal to the speed of light divided by the velocity in medium number 2. So this is really the index of refraction of medium number 2 is equal to the speed of light over the velocity of medium number 2. The reason that works out like that is because the index of refraction for the speed of light is equal to 1. So if we put n1 right here, it would equal 1, and so you would just cancel it out and you would get n2. And so we have this proportionality constant defining what uh, n is, what an index of refraction is. And what I'm going to do, I want to point out really quick, notice that v2 is down here, n2 is up here, so these are all across from each other, so don't get that mixed up. And now I'm going to define velocity in terms of the wavelength. So velocity is equal to the wavelength times the frequency, and I can plug this in here and here. And so I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the wavelength 1 times the frequency divided by the wavelength 2 times the frequency is equal to n2 over n1. And uh, notice that I didn't put a subscript on the frequency because the frequency doesn't change. And because it doesn't change, it cancels right out of there. And so we get n2 over n1 is equal to lambda 1 over lambda 2. So in general, what we'll have is uh, lambda 2 times n2 is equal to lambda 1 times n1. That's generally how you'll see an equation like this. And we're solving for lambda 2, so we'll go ahead and divide n2 over. So the second wavelength is equal to the first wavelength divided by or times n1 over n2. And so here's uh, it tells us that it starts out at 630, so L1, 630. 2.8 nanometers and times n1, so in a vacuum is what it's talking about, is 1, divided by n2, so n2 was the, uh, the material that we're in, which is the, uh, the corn syrup and water mixture, and so we'll use the, in, the, the index of refraction that we found in part 1, so 1.4618, so that's a decimal point, don't forget the decimal point. 
And so what you should get is, you'll see that this is a fraction slightly less than 1, so our new wavelength should be slightly less than 600. And what I got for uh, the second wavelength, lambda 2, is that it's equal to 432.87 nanometers. Now, uh, it wants us to find the frequency, and it says, actually, what it says specifically is find its frequency in the solution. Now, here's the key. The frequency in, uh, in the first medium is equal to the frequency in the second medium. We said that the frequency doesn't change, and so it wants to know the frequency in the solution. What we're going to find, because we know all of the uh, components of, uh, of this wave, of this light beam in a vacuum, we're going to solve for frequency in a vacuum, and it's going to equal frequency in the solution. And so the the velocity is equal to the wavelength times the frequency. And so we'll say the velocity in one uh, times is equal to the wavelength in one times the frequency in uh, the first medium. And then we're going to go ahead and solve symbolically for the frequency. So the frequency in the first medium is equal to the velocity of the first medium divided by the wavelength in the first medium. And now remember the velocity, the first medium was was a vacuum, so the velocity v1 is equal to c. So the frequency in the first medium is equal to c divided by the wavelength in the first medium. Now the problem tells us uh, what that wavelength is. The wavelength is um, 632.8 nanometers. Now here's the problem right here, because the speed of light is in meters per second, we need to divide by meters in order to get uh, units of hertz or units of per second. And so we got to times this by 10 to, the, 10 to the negative ninth. So the speed of light, if you recall, the speed of light is 299,792,458 meters per second. We're going to divide that by 632 point eight times ten to the negative ninth meters so meters per second divided by meters we should get that the frequency is four point seven three seven times ten to the fourteenth per second or you could write that as hertz now remember this is equal to f1 but f1 is also equal to f2 so there we go now it says in the last part find its velocity in the solution and so we're going to use the same the same formula the velocity in 2 is equal to the wavelength in 2 times the frequency in 2 lucky for us we had just solved both the frequency and the wavelength so the wavelength the wavelength in 2 was equal to 432.87 nanometers the frequency was equal to uh, 4.73 times 10 to the 14th hertz. And so we just got to remember to convert that to meters so that we get our velocity in meters per second. So we're going to times it by 10 to the negative ninth. And so the velocity in 2 is equal to 432.87 times 10 to the negative ninth times 4.3 or 4.73 times 10 to the 14th and so v2 is equal to 20507467.1.5 meters per second now there is another way to solve for the velocity besides using this relationship remember we have an, a definition for n so n2 or the index of refraction of our material is equal to the speed of light divided by the velocity of light in our material and so you can use this and say that v2 is equal to the speed of light over n2 and in that case you don't have to rely on previous equations for wavelength or frequency you can just jump straight to the velocity and in this case you don't have to worry about converting uh, wavelengths from meters to nanometers or anything like that Th so this is really the simplest way to go uh, but because I think the the problem was really leading us to use the other direction uh, because we had previously solved for all the other variables Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.